Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is 9 Wholesome Stories Part 99 1. My car broke down on an exit off the interstate literally a block from my apartment. My phone was dead but I had only been taking a short trip to the grocery store and figured I wouldn't need it. Well I'm stuck, everyone is laying on their horns behind me, and I'm panicking trying to figure out how the fuck I'm gonna push my car off the road by myself not to mention call AAA with my dead phone. A car pulls up and a woman and her girlfriend get out and immediately start helping me push my car. We get it off the road finally and I guess they could tell I was still panicking so I explained that my phone was dead. These amazing people offered to let me sit in their car, thank god some AC cause it was the middle of summer in South Florida, charge my phone on their charger, and call my dad from their phone. They sat with me for 10 minutes to let my phone get a good charge before they went on their way. 10 to 20 minutes out of their day may not seem like much but there were so many people just angrily honking and not doing anything to help. Admittedly I would have probably been one of those people. I can't thank those two girls enough, wherever they are. You saved a poor college guy from having one of the worst panic attacks he's ever had. 2. Once while I was studying abroad I got a phone call from home saying my grandmother was going to die. I couldn't fly home to say goodbye or for the funeral. I was in public in a cafe when I got this call so I started ugly crying. The people around me bought me water and helped me get into an Uber home. The Uber driver was so distraught by how upset I was he stopped in a gas station to buy me a tissue box and some earrings. I needed nice strangers that day. 3. I was traveling abroad a while ago and found myself in Tokyo, lost, looking for a restaurant or store or something. I only knew a few words of Japanese, but I flagged down a guy walking down the street for directions. He knew absolutely zero words of English and after a few moments of us trying to use hand gestures, he decided to walk me to my destination. Over a mile away. In the opposite direction he was originally walking towards. Mind you, we had no way to talk to each other, so it was a pretty silent walk. I gave him a bow when we got there, and then he waved and walked back. Honestly I have a couple more stories that come close from that trip, the Japanese are incredibly hospitable. 4. In college I was late to an interview for a summer internship. I was running in a suit and a random guy pulled over and gave me a lift. I met a massive amount of my current close friends through that summer internship and I still think about what would have happened if I'd missed that interview from time to time. 5. I had just been in a car accident where they turned directly in front of me and I couldn't stop in time. I was so upset and was just sitting in my car shaking. A woman who had seen the wreck got out and came over to just hold my hand until emergency response could arrive. She was an angel and I have never forgotten the power of just holding someone's hand in times of stress and trauma. 6. My daughter, three at the time, threw up all over the place on a coach to the beach. We had to get off at a little town in the middle of nowhere to clean her up. Hours between buses and all shops were closed. A very lovely helpful lady saw us out her window, and let us in to wash her up and change her clothes in the warm. Absolute legend. 7. I was very drunk and had fallen asleep on the bus and missed my stop. The bus driver wouldn't let me stay on as for some reason the return route started in a different place to where it finished. He gave me directions to where I could get on another bus but I got lost and ended up stumbling along a stretch of motorway, pedestrians are banned from them. After a while a car stopped beside me and the driver asked me what I was doing, I explained my predicament and asked for directions to the bus stop. He told me he didn't know where it was but I shouldn't be on the road and that he would take me somewhere safer. In the car he asked where I lived and said he'd take me home. It took 45 minutes to get there and while talking to him I found out he wasn't originally heading in the direction of my house so would have to drive the same time back to get back to his original route. 8. 
me as a 25-year-old woman commuting on the tube to a job I hated, whilst grieving my mum passing away crying again all the way there like most mornings hiding behind my hands, and a little girl around 10 just silently handed me a tissue and squeezed my hand and carried on talking to her mum. Just that simple silent caring act without any need for my thanks or validation and never breaking the weird London code we have of never making eye contact or speaking to people on the tube. I just felt totally understood and consoled, by a child, very humbling experience. 9. It was just a simple sentence. I would bear it for you if I could. This absolute stranger would have put some of my emotional burden on himself to help me get through a really dark time in my life. Even though this was a weight I had to carry alone, the fact that someone was willing to offer their help meant the world to me. It helped restore some faith in humanity. This marks the end of the video. If you like my videos, consider subscribing to stay updated with new content. See you until next time.